A trap door. <gasps> Ooh. I'm gonna save before we go down there. I'm worried. I'm worried. I wonder if he lost that stupid rod. Does he? Yeah, he decided to throw it away. Okay, then. The lid won't move. Of course not. Aha! Hook it up to the minecart. I tied one end of the rope to the lid. Good. Now tie the other to the minecart, genius. All I need to do now is push away the trolley. <laughs> Samuel, do it! <laughs> Are you going to be too weak for that, too? Yep. It can't be moved. Ah, <sighs> Samuel. Um, let's go... Okay, I know what... I think I know what he wants to do. Maybe not. Can we not get some oil on this rag? And maybe oil up the joints? Hmm. It can't be moved. Okay. Can you do anything with it? I have to get rid of the brake stop. <laughs> Samuel! Why didn't you do that in the first place? And here I am trying to figure out what to do with oil and stuff, and no, you just left the brake stop in. Ah, oh, this man, I swear. I swear. Is the cart in this area now? No, it just disappeared. Okay. Alright, I'm hoping going down that trap door isn't like a you're lost there forever thing. Because there's still stuff up here that we want to do, right? Let's save just in case. I know, now I'm going to be like this compulsive saver that saves every three minutes, but I'm worried. Okay, let's see. What's down here? A barrel. Another one? Do we have to puncture this it's one too? like the ones upstairs, full of oil. I don't need oil now. Ooh, I do need oil now. This cave is kind of creepy. A dark corner. Um, <laughs> you know what I don't want to visit? The dark corner. Oh man, there's another one over here. The wall ends here. Okay. What was the point of coming down here exactly? It's too dark over there. I'll keep close to the light coming from above. Okay. Um, control panel here. I think it could work. Okay, we'll try it. Let's see what Nothing. happens. Hmm. I think it could. Okay, stop, 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 Nothing. Samuel. Hmm, do we have any indication of what how to operate this thing? Because then, then I could get him to do that through the other engine room or whatever, but... Um, when in doubt, use the rook knife. Nope, nope. Rook knife, no work this time. How about the rag? Can I just smother Samuel and be over with it? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I can electrocute him, and I did, but... Ugh. What is the point of this? Oh, you can go further down. I didn't realize that. Okay. It's entirely dark in here. Ooh. The power circuit is probably interrupted. Okay. I think that's it, right? It looks like a power distribution circuitry box. Okay. It can't be opened. Nonsense. Rook knife worked before. It'll work again. Yeah. It has loosened. Yay! Rook knife to the rescue! I must reconnect the circuit. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Considering his prior experiences playing with cables... Let's be sure I don't mess anything up here. Alright, open this. Let's see, what are we doing? Um... How do we, what What do you do? Oh, okay. What did you just do with that cable? 
clamp. I don't know what color order they go in. Let's see. If everything explodes and Samuel dies... Nothing. Okay. I guess we just have to keep trying. Can I get this out? Hello? <laughs> oh no. Blue wire. Stop. Just... Can you not... Just flip it with the red wire? Okay, there we go. Um... Let's try this. Nope. Okay, let's try flipping the green. Just set it down, Samuel! Set it down! Okay, there we go. <laughs> let's try that one there, and uh, this one here? Nope. Okay, so... That should be everything with the red in that spot before we had blue there. So put that down. Let's put the blue back and try the red on this side. Nope. Okay, so green should be in this spot then. And we'll try blue here. Nope. Alright, how about... Wait, where was red a moment ago? forgot which order I had them in. There we go. <laughs> At last. I'd say this used to be the lift room. Okay. How handy. Generator controls. Another skeleton. How many dead people are there down here? Who could it have been? Who could it have been? Can you do anything with it? Oh my god, we're going to be digging in the corpses. I found a small key. Lovely. Uh, a locker. There's a lock on it. Okay, can you use the small key on the locker lock? Open it. A revolver. I'll take it. Oh my god. Oh no, Samuel is armed. Okay. Watch it's out, so world. Right. Oh dear. I'm not sure I like this idea. Is there anything there is in this one? Useful there anymore. Okay, how about this one? There are some old bullets here. Let's hope they aren't useless. Alright, well why didn't you take those in the first place? Technical drawings and plans for a machine of some kind. Oh, f good, okay. So maybe those will help upstairs. There's nothing in it. Okay, no, there. I can still see things in there. You just decided they're not useful. Another book. Maybe it will help me get outside. All right. Um, are you gonna read it? May twenty ninth. Everything has gone smoothly today. Another day gone without any malfunction. Today. Another day without any malfunction. Except for the dreadful heat here. A horrible 55 degrees. If it were not for the drinks from the surface, we would all drop dead from thirst. May 30th. One of the three vent shafts seems to be clogged. The men say something must be stuck in it. That would explain the horrible heat. I have to go to the vent shafts and check out the whole area this afternoon. May 31st. Something has entirely clogged vent 2. It's going to take a while before we can remove it. It's almost halfway through, and quite large. Tomorrow, this sounds we should discover what has been causing the heat in here. June 1st. We finally dragged out the thing that was clogging the second vent today. It was a body. Ooh. One of the new workers must have fallen down the vent. Nobody knows his identity yet. The body must have been there for quite a while. And the heat here... June 15th. The last June 15th. Has been peaceful. Dead bodies. No major malfunctions. June 18th. Old Morton has gone mad. They found him at the end of the new corridor, just sitting there, gazing into space. No one managed to get a sensible word out of him. 
he just kept mumbling about some ghost. Perhaps he is breathing too much gas. I had him taken to the doctor. June 19th. We had another ghost episode this afternoon. Ugh, such nonsense. There must be a gas leak around here somewhere. We'll carry out a reading tomorrow morning. This is pretty June creepy. June 22nd. We examined the entire corridor and found nothing. No gas. However, three more men had to be taken out today. Nobody knows what is wrong with them. They keep saying the same rubbish as old Morton. Maybe they're right. If it goes on like this, the mine will have to close down. And Fuller won't be too keen on that. June 23rd. It took me an hour to persuade those cowards into the hoist today. Nobody wants to work in the new corridor. They're afraid of the ghost. I had to agree to shut it down. Otherwise, I'd have to go into the mine alone. I wonder if they're the ones that are causing problems here. Something terrible has happened. I heard strange, damn strange sounds coming from above the lift shaft. And then it happened. A nerve-shattering scream and the sound of a tremendous crash. I don't know how many minutes or hours have passed since then, but when I regained consciousness, I was on the other side of the room, and my mouth was full of dirt. Ew. I believe a couple of my ribs are broken, and my left arm is so swollen, I can barely move it. I don't Good know thing if you're I'll be able to crawl out of the lift room in this condition. Day two. It's no use. All my attempts to break out of here have been unsuccessful. Something must have fallen on the ladder access lid. Damn it. Aww. The only other way out is by lift, but it is not working. I hope someone will open the lid for me from above. Aw, Samuel, Otherwise, you're too late. Oh, I feel what will happen. Day three. I estimate I've been in this bloody hole for three days already. I'm very hungry. But my thirst is worse. Thank God for all the moisture. I'm drinking water from the pools under the pipes. My arm hurts badly. I cannot raise it anymore. My whole body aches from screaming. But nobody can hear me. What a way to go. The possibility is that damned lid. Or the lift. But I can't do anything about it from here. How ironic. Day four. I am getting weaker. I know I won't make it much longer. My arm is in flames. And I'm running out of candles. The light Use your arm to light the way? <laughs> Nobody finds me soon. I am going to die from blood poisoning. Or slowly from hunger and thirst. Without light, it will be much worse than even now. I know that these are my last words, but I don't know what to write. Maybe just... If somebody finds this and takes it out to the surface, please, bury me like a proper man. Aww. Samuel, did you hear that? You have to drag the corpse out with you. Bet that's him. Poor guy. Of course Samuel isn't going to bury him. Ah, <sighs> Samuel, Samuel. Let's see. Okay, we have a fuse box. Maybe some... its purpose is to power the lift. Well, he said he couldn't do anything about powering the lift from here. Wait a second. Why did you not put the bullets in the revolver? There were just two bullets in the box. Okay, I don't really care. But it, okay, at least now it's loaded. Good. Maybe it's. Yeah, I know. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Fuse box. A fuse box. I'd better leave it alone. A fuse box. Can we maybe compare that to the one upstairs? I don't think that'll do much good, but... Um... Okay, well, we have these plans. plans Let's look the at them. controls and drawings of a big machine. Perhaps I can use them somehow. Can I see them? Samuel. Uh, 
Oh my god, Samuel. <laughs> Will you let me look at them, please? Okay, wait, so these are plans to a machine. I bet these are the- it's the machine upstairs. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dust yourself off. Very nice. Now let's go. Nobody cares if you have dirt dust on your jacket here. Can we use this with this? There we go. Yay! I'll try to get it to start with the help of those plans. Man, I can barely hear you over that, Samuel. Okay, um... Let's save before I go on, just in case. I don't want him killing himself with electricity again. I've already seen the game over once. Don't need to see it again. <laughs> Alright, man, keep going down. No, keep going down, Samuel. 